Question 9. So we've got to find the equation of the tangent to the curve at point P. So we're going to end up using the big formula y minus y1 equals mx minus x1. That's always our go-to formula when we've got to work out any straight line, and obviously a tangent is a straight line. So what do we need to use this formula? We need to know two things. We need to know a point on the line. Well, we know that. That's 3 minus 5. So x1 is going to be 3 and y1 is going to be minus 5. The second thing we need to know is the gradient at the tangent. Now, in order to find the gradient, we're going to need to find the differential. So that's our starting point. So we kick off by differentiating this function. So multiply by the current power, reduce the power by 1, so 3x squared. Multiply by the 2, reduce the power by 1, that gives us minus 6x. And minus 3x becomes minus 3. So this, this is our differential. So what is the gradient of the curve when x equals 3? Well, we substitute 3 into the differential. So substituting 3 into this, we get 3 times 3 squared minus 6 times 3 minus 3, giving us a gradient of 6 when x equals 3 on the curve. So the tangent has a gradient of 6. So now we can use this formula. So substituting in y minus minus 5 equals 6 multiplied by x minus 3. Obviously remember that y minus minus 5 is y plus 5. Then multiplying out the, the brackets we get 6x minus 18. Taking away 5 from both sides we get x equal, uh, y equaling 6x minus 23. Now we're told the tangent to the curve at Q is parallel to the tangent to the curve at P. Find the, find the um, coordinates of Q. So uh, we need to find out where else, where the, um, the gradient is also 6 because we've got to have it being tangent. Okay, so where it is tangent, um, sorry, excuse me, where it is parallel, they're going to have the same gradient. So where does this curve have a gradient of six? So we need to um, we need to uh, solve this um, ta um, this differential equaling six. Okay, so we need to find out where th uh, where the um, tangent is also 6. So we've set it equaling to 6. So taking away 6 from both sides, I can then divide through by 3, and other I can then factorize. So I could get um, my two x values where I am getting a gradient of 6. First one is when x equals 3, which we knew already. We knew that from part 1. But secondly, so this must be q, when x is minus 1. So at Q, X is minus 1. We need the coordinate of Q, so we have to pop a minus 1 back into the curve itself to find the Y value. So minus 1 cubed minus 3 lots of minus 1 squared minus 3 times minus 1 add 4 gives us a Y value of 3. So the coordinates of Q are minus 1, 3. So just to recap, at both P and Q, so P when the coordinate is 3 minus 5, and at q minus 1 3 those are two points on the curve and at both those points on this um, cubic curve the gradient of the tangent is plus 6